Good morning, 7.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Millionaire and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to wish everybody a very special, happy 4th of July here from the XRP Future Millionaire. I came on a little early, got up a little earlier. I'm going to the Clawson Parade at 9 a.m. So I wanted to come on and start my day the way I always do with you guys, holiday or not. I've only been doing two updates a day the last couple of days because of the 4th of July weekend. But I have done Twitch every single day. If you if you do come to my Twitch, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I won't be there at 8 o'clock tonight. Probably more like 10 o'clock. But it'll be after 4th of July is completed. My family's in bed. And I have um, obviously the parade this morning. But then I have a 4th of July party today. People coming to my house. You know, it's people on Julie's side of the family. So... I'll be a little busy, but I'm still going to try to bring you a few updates today. And I've obviously got to start it the right way. If you guys were part of the uh, copy trading, the two trades um, that you guys have seen me made is uh, from last night. And I just wanted to update everybody because I do have it on here in my telegram just sitting. But you see all the people talking. But this is the trade you guys seen on. We made last night and we did two shorts on Ethereum, one through USD and one on USDT. The USDT one, um, I had a higher liquidation price and when it came down 26.09%, I sold it. That was the first target. The second target hit at a 44.55%. I'm not greedy. And then it obviously came down more. But as you see now, Ethereum's up over 1,073. So I would be well down about 30 to 40%. But before I went to buy it, I seen numbers that I was comfortable with and I sold. Never going to get the top, never going to buy the bottom. So Ripple does not stand a chance against SEC, a firm's former securities regulator. Now this can all be FUD, but I still like to read the perspective of what some people are saying. So former SEC Chief Robert Cohen drew parallels between the commissioner's case against Ripple with Blockbest. LLC tackled by the regulator in 2019. Cohen reveals that it. After losing the preliminary injunction, the commission filed for a reconsideration. And the judge reversed the decision in favor of the SEC. Analysts believe that Ripple XRP, the Ripple price could witness a bullish trend reversal pushing XRP to the 50 cents level. Former Chief Robert Cohen believes the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC's case against payment giant Ripple, is key. However, the outcome may not be as significant. The regulator is likely to file a motion for reconsideration on losing the case against Ripple. SEC versus Ripple lawsuit could drag beyond the outcome of the case. Robert Cohen is the former SEC chief of the Division of Enforcement. Cohen responded to a question about the implication of the commission's lost Ripple. In an interview, Cohen drew parallels between a fraud case filed by the commission against Blockfest LLC and the ongoing lawsuit against Ripple. The SEC had suffered a rare defeat. In SEC vs. Blockfest LLC on November 27, 2018, Judge Carrell of the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of California issued a denial of its motion for preliminary injunction against the firm. Despite evidence of fraudulent representation of the SEC in the defendant's website postings, the court denied the motion of preliminary injunction filed by the U.S. regulator. This did not last long and attracted intense scrutiny from the industry. On December 17, 2018, my birthday, the SEC moved for the partial reconsideration of the November order. On February 14, 2019, the court granted in part the SEC's motion for reconsideration relying on new evidence and an argument that the court apparently had overlooked. Therefore, the SEC shrugged off its original loss and continued to seek to shut down the alleged fraud with all the power of federal securities laws. So I just wanted you guys to read that because the SEC holds no bounds and even if they lose, they'll figure out a way to turn it around through manipulation. Don't ever deny the fact that the SEC is very manipulated. The Fed is also so. Uh, uh, Ripple and XRP, there's a long ways to go, but it's not over yet. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So real quick, as we talked about with Ethereum, it's in that ascending triangle. 
So, I mean, this is why I sold it. I wasn't going to get greedy because I knew it could come right back up. But now it's presenting another opportunity. I'm not trading. Obviously, I'm not going to trade today until 4th of July stuff's over. Had a phenomenal. We hit 21 out of 23 50x trades. So, it's been spectacular. Um, Bitcoin. Now we can get rid of this stuff because it used the second line as support. But these are just little ways that I can understand the pattern. You see this resistance line now. It's got to break this. And it's coming right back up there. But I don't really want to keep that down there because it's going to be confusing. So just watch this for the immediate short term, guys, with Bitcoin. That's the short term uptrend we started. If we can ride that uptrend, we might be able to come up to 20750 at some point today. So that's what we're watching with Bitcoin and then for XRP. And I got to go. We've got these little W reversals here. So right now we've got underneath support at 3117. And then we're going to have this overhead resistance. That's a... Okay, we'll fix this. Because you want to see the immediate short-term trend that's formed. So if we can hold that, we're going to be on our merry way. The problem is, is we've started a pattern now. We could easily go from here. We could say that we've got to break out of here. Because you see what's starting? Assuming this continues, we could be starting a little bit of a rising channel here that ends up in a descending triangle. So pay attention, guys. This could be a descending triangle pattern starting. XRP Future Millionaire. Hit that motherfucking like button.